Strap in, boys and girls, because YouTube has a 10 hour time limit. We need to start. All right. Nobody asked SMSL to make the SAP 9. Nobody that I know of. I didn't ask for it. And yet here it is. And the weird thing about this is I bought it probably two and a half months ago and I just been sort of like ignoring it and going back and forth and listening to it and like but maybe you know maybe maybe there'll be a YouTube review of it and an Amazon review of it and there's none I've had it for months it's a hundred and five dollars it's a fully balanced headphone amp with a four pin two and a half and a three and a half I mean a quarter and then this and it's look it's got balanced inputs XL on the back and I'm bounce of power and it sounds pretty fucking rad and I don't understand when I was talking about it so I'll talk about it fine no one else wants to pick it up I'll pick it up so it's hundred and five dollars I think I got mine for 90 when it was first released and it's a aluminum box and just like I showed you it's got legitimately balanced inputs in the back of it unbalanced inputs in the back of it, and then a 5 volt DC input. We'll get back to that and why that's important. The front has a standard 4 pin XLR, has a standard quarter inch uh, single ended, and then here it's got a 2.5 inch 4 pole, which is like you'd use for portable things. Like here's my uh, my iSign 20s have a custom wire for that. The button is digital, infinite turning, and it has multi multi-function presses so you hold it to turn it on hold it to turn it off then a single press will switch between the XLR and the RCA this all seem rather well that was fine so far here's the power brick it comes with it's a two and a half amp five volt which that's about three feet and then the cord that comes off of this little brick is is like six and a half fucking feet long which is interesting Let's not use that. It comes with this, by the way. It comes with that. But it also comes with uh, <clears throat> this. And this is what blew my mind and why I've been just like staring at it. Because it's a two and a half point two. I forget what the actual denomination is, but it's a standard 12 volt plug for like appliances to USB. So if you wanted to, you could power this off of an on the go charger a battery backup pack or and I think this is probably the more likely scenario you could plug this bitch right into your laptop and then plug this bitch right in here and now it's powered blink 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 I don't know why it's blinking maybe oh maybe it can be powered by my laptop I don't know if I've tried it on this particular laptop let's find out sources today since it's got two got the Yoten I'm hooked up to this and I'm using the Balanced outputs, Ugh. actually the balanced pre-outs, XLR, because this is the only, other than my XDA2, which is indisposed of by being behind this wall of stuff, this is the only other balanced DAC I have, truly balanced, truly. So let's plug, and then this is completely 180 degrees of that. Yeah, this may not run off of the laptop's power. We'll see, we'll see in a second. And for my portable solution, because this is going to get hilarious a little bit later on when I carry this thing around and say that this is like a great portable amplifier, you should be walking around your old neighborhood with it. But you could be. You fucking could be. Alright. I've got Hyphen Mid Edition X, LCD 4s, both balanced. I've got my balanced adapter here. I've obviously just tested it with the. I sign 20s. Let's see if this is allowed to put it because it's blinking fast and I haven't had to do that before, so it might just be underpowered. Beep. Alright, I'm going to assume that's underpowered. So let's plug it into something with a little more current. The Anchor Portable Battery Pack Majigger Go. Yes. So we've got. So now we're playing off this. Now I have this maxed. I have the Jotunheim set at a the Jotunheim's a pre-out, so I have it set at high gain, round like dead 
vertical, the thing. And now we're going to test a $110 balanced amp. Because the balanced amps in this abode of mine currently, I'm, I've got the uh, NFB1 amp there. We won't talk about that for now. We've got the Jotunheim here, which if you ignore the DAC in it, is $400 for a balanced amp. You've got the X7S over there, which for 300, I think it's three, 300 or 330 is probably my favorite balanced stack, balanced amp. I like this one. I like you, you Jotunheim, but you, to be you, you're class A and you're sort of, I don't know. I, I, but now forget those because I was telling people if you wanted to get into balance, you had to start here. And if you started there, you had to start for four or $500. And that made it a little bit cheaper. And now this is ridiculous. So, first thing we're going to figure out, which I've already figured out, but I'm going to pretend I'm figuring it out with you because that's how videos are made. Magic. I'm plugging in the quarter inch adapter for XLR for the four pin. And I'm going to, as quickly as I can, unplug these headphones, these Edition X, plug them into this. So it'll be removing the benefits of balanced, which is a thing that's going to have to come up in a future video where I actually, I'm not playing off that, I'm playing off this. What? Transistor soundtrack. I don't know. I know. Mob Psycho is great. Next. Next. Wow. Boom. All right. Dexter soundtrack. Good, airy, spatial things happening. Which way do I have to hold this? I think I have to hold this like this. See now, according to the documentation, this actually has two amplifiers in it. And it makes sense. SMSL could certainly put together a cheap amplifier. So why not just put together two cheap amplifiers in one box and you could literally say it's a balanced headphone out. Total harmonic distortion plus noise is only a tenth of a percent, which uh, is probably less than anyone's gonna hear, but usually with those numbers, you wanna hear as many zeros as you can. I'm not gonna knock at that. It's $110 or $105. This switching from this source, which is a unbalanced source, I can't really tell the difference. I'll tell you that much. But we're here to test, push button, light. LED is red when it's off, green when it's unbalanced, and blue when it's balanced. And it's very small, hidden blue. It's my favorite kind of blue. So now we're coming off the Jotunheim. Postmodern jukebox is Clint Eastwood 007 Cantina. Now there's a definite volume drop. Because if we look at the specs, specs, if we look at the specs, I could pause you. The unbalanced output maximum number they're showing here, 32 ohms, is 175 milliwatts, which is not a great deal. But the balance section is 373 milliwatts. So it is a legitimate large, at least you're going to get a three decibel bump. So I have to sort of take that into account in my judging. But I've already done this. I don't have to do this on camera or pretend. There is a sound difference from balanced to unbalanced when you're using the balanced inputs. When you're not using the balanced inputs, eh, it's sort of like on the fence. It's just a different way of delivering things without grounds. So it's not a very powerful unit. And the total harmonic distortion burst noise isn't the best. But yet it sits here on my desk and puts me in pure wonderment of how, why. This almost feels like it will be something that you'd get in the hot in the pro audio segment of the world where you, you know have rack mount things and just some dj needs to plug his xlr in he needs to plug headphones in but they're not marketing it for that they're smsl they're marketed for you and me and people who just need something on their desk as far as size it's good the volume is since it's digital it's never off left or right Different song. 
Otis Taylor. That's too loud. Not enough. Bracelet. We will know bracelet. <sighs> yeah. Okay. It, there is a volume increase on the balance, but it's it, there's more to it than that. So again, don't take this as the word of God. Balance and unbalance doesn't make a difference. It's still something that's going to be argued whether I say so or not. So let's just not. And let's also pull out a $4,000 set of headphones for this. Using a silver dragon cable. Ooh. I didn't ask for it. They just provided it with. Now you're also, it says right the thing, right on the thing, it says do not use both the balance and unbalance at the same time. I believe leaving the adapter in is fine. Yeah, we're gonna need more power. Maximum power. I'm not hearing any distort, I could I use this, obviously I could use that as my preamp because it's preamping this. This is a max tilt, we're running it off of an anchor battery pack uh, which I think might put out two amps if I switch it back over to its power supply it comes with And you don't have to do anything special for that. It'll just come back on by the way It'll remember its last state and come back on in that so It's playing already so hold up for a second here This wire did work on that laptop and not this laptop unless maybe this side has more power. I don't know Okay A little bit of distortion there, but I'm up loud. So I'm back where I was. Where you'll detect distortion is usually in a lot of low end. That's not for this, that's for her. So let's go grab something with a lot of low end. Oh, Lincoln Park. Wow, these are not in alphabetical order at all. That's not helping. As much as I don't like the recording quality of Gravity Hills, it will have a load of bass. Ooh. I want to do the real test? Hold on. Sublime gets me blocked on YouTube, by the way. Do not play Sublime ever. Stone Temple Pilots. Ooh, Splinter, Spe Splinter Cell OSD Museum. Got a nice good low end roll there going on. Quality is obviously blatantly superior on the Jotunheim, but, but, if I wasn't able to do this back and forth, and you handed me this on a Tuesday, and you handed me this on a Thursday, I would struggle to recognize the, the, the finite details that are either lacking or exaggerated. I think this is a little bright. It's a little bit bright, and usually weaker amps will do that because they either self EQ or they self level so they don't distort. The point is, if you have these, there's a very good chance you're gonna be able to afford more than this. But we're using it as a good example because LCD boards are here, I'm gonna use them. I mean, it's, it's, 
switching to that. What is that? Oh, it's gotta be Meow the Jewels. Oh, take it up to max. <laughs> I'm impressed, all right? I I'm not blown away. I'm not going to write a psalm verse about how amazing the SAP 9 is compared to, you know, everything and we should all build churches and worship it. But fuck me, man, it's $104 and it's a balanced headphone amp. Does the balance matter if you're running RCA? If you don't have XLR, a legitimately balanced input, you may skip it or don't skip it. It's the, it is officially the cheapest way to get a balanced headphone amplifier. I'm pretty, I haven't done all the research, but I'm pretty sure I am saying that without lying about it. $104 for a f fully left and right stereo amplifiers, one here, well, mono amplifiers. I can't think of another way to do that. That That's 400. That on its best day is 300. Maybe a Fostex? It'll be 250, 105. That's why I love SMSL, because they come out with some weird shit. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's terrible. Sometimes the quality control is meh. But sometimes it works. And this absolutely, for demonstrating how good a balanced headphone amp could be, you feed it balanced, if you can get it. Actually, I wonder. Hmm. I wonder if I use the XLR adapters in this with RCA, if it would be different from that. Because I, I know that that only has RCA inputs and it does a thing to extra. I'm, I'm lost. Lost in translation. Stuck in transition. Let's put these back on because they're much lighter. Oh God. Volumes down. This is playing off this. how you gotta treat things. All right, Good shove that in here. Yeah, okay, good. This is a thing now, people. This is a thing. Predator soundtrack. Predator 2. Excuse the zeosness of this room. Why make it 5 volt? Why limit it to 5 volt? And include this wire with the U. Why? Like, it doesn't work off my laptop here, and it's a pretty nice Lenovo. It's a, it's newer, so it should have enough power to power this, but it just doesn't. I don't... Put down my portable setup so you guys can take a look at it. It's a SAP 9 worth looking into. Absolutely, for 105 fucking dollars. Can you use it to its full potential? Uh, it depends. I mean, honestly, for a pro setup, if you just needed, if you had XLR left and right inputs that you could feed into this, and then you could take advantage of the front out, it still doesn't sound bad. Even with those low numbers, and I'm starting to get a hint at these numbers don't mean jack shit a lot of the time. I mean, usually a company would inflate their numbers so that they're you know, like, oh, it's so powerful. But 
every time I hear like, oh, 375 milliwatts, that's a third of a watt. I'm like, oh, it's not going to be any good. And yet here I am powering Edition Xs, which are essentially HE1000s, just cheaper. And it's like, uh, and this doesn't have the highest output either. It's on max, but to a louder song. Yeah, I don't have to run these at full tilt on this. I don't understand this thing, all right? That's in the Reno Williams OSC. God, I love that movie. We're, we, we are now officially done talking about this. It's a good enough headphone amp to consider. It's gonna go on my lists. If you wanna run balanced, the X7S, the Outenheim, the Amp One are obviously much more r robust. Their quality levels can be measured, you know, in, ten in thousands, where this is intense. But it's a hundred dollars. How do you, how do you not think about investing in something like this? Ugh. Just to say you have, just as a laugh. I'm gonna unbury you now. Here we go. I'm gonna give it one more shot in my laptop on the other side, just to see if it'll do it. Cause it should do it. Oh, it went green. Did this get paused? Am I losing my mind? Did I just fart? That's playing. So there you go. Now it's being powered by my laptop. Just that side wasn't doing it. I don't know. What, I mean, that means you could legitimately bring this, bring a shorter three and a half millimeter, plug this into, where the hell is my port on this? Gotta have not used the onboard. I don't think ever. Let's switch this back to here. Oh, the, u the laptop noise. Oh, the laptop noise. I'm gonna puke. Laptop stereo, okay. There you go. Powered by the laptop, fed signal by the laptop, which is garbage, by the way. Laptop audio is almost always shit. But, I, 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 thank you, SMSL. At least you're out there. At least you've got an option. Keep doing what you do. Do what you do so well. I appreciate it. And people who don't have a lot of money to spend 400 on that, or 300 on that, or 450, 500 on that, 100 bucks.